Okay, so I wanted to share, I had several of y'all ask me about sharing how we're gonna do our container garden. And what I did is I checked at Sam's, Walmart, and I ended up at Tractor Supply because they had, I wanted black containers because I just, I feel like it looks nicer. And um, so I got the 27 gallon black containers and you have to make sure that on the bottom of your container, um, that it has this little triangle. I don't know if you can zoom in there, Larry, and show them that. But right there, it'll have this triangle with the number three or five in it. You want one of those, one with the number three or one with the number five, because those are food grade um, plastic. You can plant in them. And all I'm gonna do, first I'm gonna put some drainage holes in them. So I'm just gonna drill like an inch or an inch and a half up and put some drainage holes um, on each side and then I'll share with y'all how I'm going to fill them up. I'm going to show you how we fill them up or not how we fill them up what I fill them up with and um, all the tutorials that I watched said you know excuse my wardrobe and my hair it's like very windy here today but what I fill them up with um, is what I was told to help save money on buying soil is to get organic material now where we live we live in the country and we have lots of trees and lots of brush and stuff like that so I have filled this up like almost halfway full with just leaves and old little sticks like this. You don't want to use sticks that are too big because they won't break down as easy. But these will. These will actually break down. And when you put your other soil on here, and I'll show that to y'all also, this will start to break down and make like new soil, if that makes any sense. I don't know the science behind all of it. I just know that this is what I've been like researching and watching. So fill it half full. If you can't fill it half full, then I guess just do it with all soil. But I'm filling six of these and a, um, what do you call that? What is that box called, Larry, that you built? <laughs> it's a raised bed box. Oh yes, okay, we, we built a bunch of those many years ago and we ended up doing away with a lot of those because we got a above ground swimming pool. So anyway, I'm doing above ground gardening in these container gardens this year and I'm excited because I think it will be for one to be easier on my back and even though we have tons of property out here that we could till and plant a garden I'm just not wanting to do that right now so Kelsey and Josh are moving and they had these big benches Larry knows somebody that gave these to him and we didn't want them at the time so he gave them to Kelsey and Josh and since they are moving they um, were just gonna leave them. And I said, no, you're not, I'm taking those. I think they'll be perfect to set my um, boxes on for container gardening. So that's my plan is to have them like this, three on each one. And as you can see, I'm not real tall and I can just walk up here and tend to my little above ground garden. And so I am super excited. And I'm gonna show y'all what soil I used. I do not buy like the pre-packaged um, soil that's like already mixed up for raised beds or like for um, what am I trying to say container gardening I was told to buy the topsoil peat moss and what else manure manure yes and so we just bought individual bags of that and mix it like with percentages do 60% topsoil 20% uh, cow manure and 20% peat moss. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've got a big trailer Larry does and I'm going to put all of those in a big trailer and mix them all up and then finish filling up my container gardens with that. And I'll share with y'all here shortly how I do the mix. Okay, I wanna show y'all 
what we're mixing real quick. We've already done several and I almost forgot to record this, but we're taking this big bucket right here in a wheelbarrow and we are putting 60% topsoil, 20% cow manure, and 20% peat moss. So what I'm doing is the little black bucket down there, I'm taking two of those and putting them in this. And then I'm taking two of the cow manure and putting them, putting them in there. That's so that's your 20 and your 20. And then I'm using 60% of this, which is almost a whole bag. We've measured, we did the first one and measured it. So almost a whole bag of this and this and this, and we're gonna put it in here and mix it up. We kind of mix it up as we go really good. And then here's what it looks like in one of the boxes. Remember, I, I don't know if I told y'all, but I got a bunch of leaves and stuff to put in the bottom. And then I'm filling the rest up with this. I'm only filling up about this far because I really don't think I need to fill it up all the way. So anyway, here's these three over here. We've already done these three. And it's kind of in the shade now, but it does get like a good six hours of bright sun. We just waited until the sun kind of went down a little bit to come out and do this part. So anyway, I'll show y'all once it's all finished and once I get some plants in there. Okay, so we've got all six of the tubs full of our homemade soil and I'm excited. So let me show you over here. I don't have my plants planted over here yet. I just kind of have them sitting in because I'm not really sure where I want to put what and I have a garden box out there I have a garden box here i still need to put permanently down put some cardboard in the bottom some organic leaves and stuff and fill it with soil and then i have this big spool i think this is where i'm going to keep put and put my um um oh my gosh what are these things my herbs couldn't think of what i was trying to say good night and i'm probably going to put those in here so look at these knockout roses, y'all. Those pretty. Okay, so I'm trying to get these planted. I've got a couple of helpers over there. Hey, Carson. Hey, Addy. So they're going to help me plant the rest of these. I told them they could help. So we're going to finish planting these and hopefully get this video up for y'all. It won't get completely finished, but I want to go ahead. It's my rooster. I want to go ahead and get it up for you guys in case you're wanting to do something like this and you need to get it planted. Okay, y'all, so something else that has been keeping us very busy is this huge shed. So we actually live where my husband lived when he was growing up. He inherited his parents' home and land, and this old shed was on that property, and it has been here for probably 40 plus years. When we first moved in here almost 16 years ago, this shed was packed full full y'all of stuff. His dad did not throw anything away. He built this shed out of just whatever he could find, bless his heart, and it has definitely housed and stored many of things. So I am not complaining, but I am certainly glad to see it getting tore down all the material hauled off. We made a deal with someone who wanted the material and we said, you can have it, but you have to tear it down. So he did. He came and tore down this whole shed by himself and hauled off most of this material. Now we were left still with some mess, some straw, some cross ties, um, like some railroad cross ties, some old carpet, and you know, just a bunch of glass and different things like that. But look at the progress and just look how good. This opened up our property so much. I cannot believe how beautiful it looks now that this is all tore down. It's all open. It just makes me feel good because it just looks better. And I know I don't have all that old stuff out there to just, you know, harbor snakes, spiders, all the things. So I feel like it's also safer. But anyway, guys, that's what we've been up to. Been really busy just on the property doing a lot of things. So we hope that y'all have a wonderful week. We love y'all and we'll see you really soon with a brand new video. Thank you.